let's start with this amazing concept where we have a pipe and here's the flow meter so and here's how our orifice would get installed and the orifice would be sandwiched between two piping flanges and these two piping flanges basically form the entire orifice assembly now we look into the type of tappings that are available in the orifice and which tapping has to be used when so for example we have our transmitter here and when the tapping is taken one at upstream side and one at downstream side if it's very near to the orifice plate then this type of tapping is termed as corner tapping the next type of tapping that is available is as follows here we are going to have a tapping that comes from the flange and this type of tapping as the name suggests is going to be flange tappings the third type of tapping that we have is when the tapping is taken from the pipe so as the word suggests because it's taken from pipe this type of tapping will be called as pipe tapping now the important concept as to what is the selection criteria when should we go for corner tappings flange tappings and pipe tappings let's look into that interesting concept this concept depends upon line size. So for smaller line sizes, the Vena contractor is near to the restriction. However, for larger line sizes, the Vena contractor would be away from the restriction. Does that have any issue on our tapping selection? Absolutely, it has an effect on the selection. So the line size basically helps us to decide which orifice tapping to take. If it's nearer to the restriction, the Vena contractor, the tappings would also be taken from near to the orifice. And away is the Vena contractor from the restriction, the tappings are taken from that distance or as much approximation as possible from that distance to get the best DP that is available. For the first case, we'll go for corner tappings. So imagine this is our piping assembly and in this center, we want here to be an orifice with corner tappings because it's a small line size. Now here we have an integral orifice assembly that is usually preferred for corner tappings. So this corner tappings are usually preferred for line sizes which are one and a half inch or smaller. This entire assembly is actually given to us by vendor. So we have to just mate the flanges which are at the end with our piping flanges in the system. Now let us look into the next case which is flange tappings. For flange tappings usually we go for line size which are above one and a half inches. Now here this standard for using these flanges is as may be 16.36. Why? Because if we are going to drill the holes in the flange itself, this is going to reduce its strength dramatically and this is going to cause a safety hazard. So for such a case, we cannot go for 150 ratings, which is the starting rating for flanges. So for such cases, we usually recommend to go for 300 rating and above. So the ASME B16.5 standard, which is the normal standard for flanges, has rating starting from 150. However, ASME B16.36 standard, which is a specially made for orifice starts with 300 rating. The next one being is pipe tappings. Pipe tappings also require a lot of consideration. As we had learned, this is pipe tappings, but here we have to know the exact location that needs to be communicated as to where the tappings have to be required because this cannot be given by vendor. Also, there are considerations that need to be considered that this could weaken the piping. So the piping schedule also has to be seen that is it sufficient enough that we drill a hole through the piping. Also, one more thing is that we are dependent on the field contractor to do it. So we have to give the exact location and we have to verify that in the field is the exact location being used to drill the valve. And this is quite risky. Why? Because we are dependent on somebody else and we cannot verify whether the exact tapping place was taken or not. Also, a certain big companies have found another way to it. Sometimes they do the method of approximation. So they would go for bigger line sizes on flange ratings and then they would do an approximation from pipe tapping to your flange. So in this way, they can ensure that the tapping is taken on uh, flange instead of pipe, but you have to do approximations to rectify for this error. And this is usually done for uh, line sizes which are pretty high like 24 inch or above such cases. If you're liking these videos then please subscribe and especially press the bell icon so every Saturday you can learn a new video that I would be posting.
Also, there's a free ebook that's available on engineering standards that I've written. It's on PIP instrumentation standards. These standards are very simple, easy to use, and are very well segregated. Even a beginner can understand because they're just almost 10 to 12 pages. So, almost there have been 2,000 plus downloads for this ebook. The link is given in the description below. If you have any queries, any doubt, please keep it in the comment section. I would try my best to answer it, and I really enjoy technical discussions. So, you can contact me via LinkedIn, via my blog, etc. Happy learning, take care and all the best.